definitely Partner Sheldon today. So, wow, it's really, it's quite a loss, huh? Yeah, we probably lost about $17,000 in animals in there. Okay. I can give you some stuff like that. I have it in my house. Okay. Um, and I don't know about going in. Yeah, it's I mean, structurally, I mean, it looks like it could collapse. I know. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, probably the smartest thing. Yeah. Now, you're going to have to remind me, you guys, how do you guys do the layout here as far as where the animals are and then where you keep feed and all that other good stuff? Feed is in that shed over there. I'm sorry? The machine feed? shed. The machine shed? No, no, no. Feed is in that, that tan container right there. Yeah. Okay. Other than, so that's all like the bag feed and stuff, and then like hay and straw and bedding okay. was up in the barn loft. Okay. And all then... Right cages and crates and sure, you know sure that was like a storage area and then we had i'm gonna let her do it because she knows all yeah that. oh yeah of okay. course of thank course. you ma'am yeah what and about animals were down below and then the other half okay all right what about do you guys keep any rendered meat here like no nothing like that i bring enough from the zoo every day to okay. feed the cats well as far as i know for the for the big cats do you guys use fresh or do you use no, like farm animals it's, it, no, it's, um, we get it from, it's um, up by Flintville, it's called Circle R Mink Ranch. Okay. And they make a diet for us, it comes in 15 pound chunks. Okay. And then we just pull out whatever we need for the next day. Sure. And then feed that out. Sure. Okay. Is the, do you know if the fire chief is still out here? No. They, they just left? They just left. They just left? Yeah. Okay. Is Gene real? Yeah, but he can't come out. Yeah, he can't come out because he's, um, he's really, he's really uh, sick. He was diagnosed with cancer a week ago. Yeah, sorry to hear that. So, um, yeah, so he's not, he can't come out. Uh, okay. The only people who can go in are pretty much I understand. You know, right. his family. Sure. Sure. His white blood count, I think, last time was like 126. Oh my God. So, he's been in and out of the hospital for two weeks. Okay. But you've been what, maintaining not? all this, Gretchen, right? Yeah. You've been, okay. Is it okay if we get There was nothing there. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, I, for some reason, I woke up and 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 I
pressure. I'm just looking at the joist beams, you know, to see what kind of structure they have left to them. So there's another opening in the back too. I could see a couple of deceased animals right inside the front here. Okay, there's not a lot of heat on that side. Around the other side. Yeah. Might as well stay together in case something happens. Maybe just take turns just going in there. You can see obviously the end, there's a couple of deer and an antelope and a boat or something on the right side. It's just the fire's got it so deteriorated. Yeah, I mean, look at the, just the metal and the beams, and that's ready to come down at any point. The wind, a little bit of a breeze going. Looks like they, uh, must have got these animals out. The cages are all ripped open. That's been deceased a while, I'd say. Possibly. Look at the eyes. Okay, so can you count? Give me a count. Well, it might be the heat too because it's hard to say, but I mean in here. I don't know these markings on the ceiling if that's heat signatures. See that? Yeah, I don't know. They're really kind of old, but they are, the back there? they are thick skin and stuff. Yeah. So Both on. Talking about like 17. Make sure you replace that over here. Is that feces on top of it? In the back hind quarter? Yeah. So as far as I'm moving around. I, these animals have been dead a while, right? It's hard to tell. Right? I mean, these look like they've got stuff on top of them, and their eyes are, I mean, completely gone out of the animal. 
I mean, see this? Yeah, the, the eye cavity is completely. See the feces on top of this one? Come here once, Fitz. See the feces on top? Yeah. And the eyes are completely gone. How many do we got to get for a count? I think it was 17, but I think some of these are kind of buried where you can't even really tell. I mean, you can see the bone structure here. You guys uh, got your gun with you? We just had a pig walk out of the barn that's half burnt. Wow. So what are we... Um, Is there any way to catch it? You just got to walk around with like 14 goats. And Yeah. I can see an animal right along the shed over there. I just can't tell how long it looks to be deceased. Well, there's a dead animal on that side of the, the barn, but I don't feel comfortable walking over there and getting charged by a 2,000 pound bull. Yeah, this isn't safe in here. No, I'm not walking in there. What's that? Okay. It's odd to me how there's feces all over on top of the animals. Yes, yeah, there's also a dead goat underneath the hay over here, which is weird. Left in this one either. It's 
froze right into the ice. It's froze right in. Slut fits in the hole with this. He He did? Okay. It fits? This, this, this goat's froze right into the ground. I know. Okay. All right. I tried to move it and it's completely frozen. Yeah. Yeah, I tried moving it. It's completely frozen. The dead ones are in a separate pen over there. There are two baby ones, yeah. Dead, it just decayed. Yeah. Some remains left of where it decayed. You want us to wait here? Um, I think that's the one. Hey, Jackson, can you, would you be able to get 
listen to that back. Ten. How friendly is your bull? Oh, she's friendly. Oh, okay. She's like a dog. She's actually oh, a, just a longhorn. Exactly a cow. No, she's supposed to be a miniature Herford. That's a miniature Herford? <laughs> I said supposed to be. Oh. <laughs> That's how we bought her. We bought her as a cat, and she was supposed to be a miniature Herford, and that's what she turned out to be. But, yeah, she's just sort of a pet now, because she's so nice. Do you normally keep animals in here, Gretchen? Yeah. Is there anything in here right now? Yeah, not, not out, move. Just in the They're pen. They're in the pen. Yeah. Just hold the no, you're fine. We just leave everything closed when nobody's in. There's a parking sign there. Oh, it's still in one clock around. The one you pet? Person. Are so, you, are you there? No, I have. 
So my mom helps part time, um, and then I have Marissa works part time. She's also a paramedic. And so depending on who's here at what time, sometimes I have help, sometimes I don't. What are your plans with the structure, sir? Um, in regards to, I mean, I seem to be a total. I mean, based off of yeah. Are you guys planning on knocking it down or doing anything with it? That's what, obviously, I'm sure that, you know, they're going to have to obtain bids on to do so. I mean, okay. It's safe, obviously. It. Okay. Yeah, I know Don talked to somebody about tearing it down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys don't have plans to come in here right away to take no, it down? No, no. Actually, at this point, uh, you know, if there's believed to be some suspicious activity that they would probably get a cause an ordinance for as well. Yeah. Sure. Um, right. Yeah. We're just waiting for us well, being third party to homestead. We're going to take a fire investigator like Jeff Kubik or yes, John right. Van Oss or somebody, sure. somebody like that. Sure. We'll just that. I understand. So, okay. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You need to talk to the mom yet? Or? Um, you get exactly. I'll talk to her briefly. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I heard. I just, you know, I talked to uh, I talked to one of the attorneys. I'm allergic to cats, so I'm gonna step up.
I'm done. We're good. of that building you think you need to take pictures of. Gretchen, when you came out here right away, where did you see the fire? Uh, when I got the whole thing was orange. The so, whole thing was engulfed. It was like a flame fireball. So, was there flames coming out of the roof? Oh, yeah. Were there flames coming out sides? I, I could see, so from that living room window, I could see the front. It was just, it was just a big orange fireball. And what time was that at? Um, I don't know, I think it was a little after 12. Okay. Do you have your phone on you? Huh? Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Can you look at your call log and tell me when you called 911? Okay. Oh, it's okay. I was just curious. Oh, gotcha. No, I, I get it. Was there power in here? Where was their power? Was their power up above here? I'd, I'd presume you probably had heaters going for water and things like that? No? All the water were just changed every day or if it wasn't real cold you just, you know, knock the ice loose and scoop the ice out if it was really Right, because the animals keep it warm enough. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't, we didn't have any heaters. The lights were only on, there was one set of lights down on the bottom of the barn that were on a timer. Okay. So they would come on at like 6 or 7 in the morning and go off at like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. 
Okay. And then there was another set of lights that I would turn on when I would go to feed. Yep. And as soon as I walk out of the building, you flip the light switch off. So at night, what would be running in here? Nothing. 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 Nope. Nothing was upstairs. Okay. What about downstairs? Down, there was antelope. Bobcats, so black buck antelope, nilgai antelope, um, bobcats, this is goats your list, sheep, cows. Could I take a picture of that just so Hill I don't sheep. have to write that all down? Yeah. Um, this is the list chicken, of animals that were deceased. Yeah. Sheep, goats. And this is just the name of the insurance guy that I called. I actually called him at 2.30 last night because the fire department said you need to contact your insurance agent so at 2 30 in the morning i'm calling him leaving a message okay. um, and then he called right at eight o'clock this morning and that's why the insurance guy is out here and the other thing is um almost all of these were were sold being picked up you guys keep animals up top? no no hey 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 cages are you in the process of of selling a lot of the animals we were because of my husband's cancer that we right. came down with that is may last two months it may last up to a year i do not know so we're not opening the zoo so yes i was going to dispose of some of them yeah and it was just kind of funny that we were going to do that and then last night we have a fire and you said you had buyers lined up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're coming today yeah. yeah they're coming today yeah and they were taking the animals um, the, you know, the mill guys and I don't know what else. Black what about other locations? Dogs. You have animals at other locations, right? Oh, at zoo. Zoo. Just at the zoo. zoo. Yeah. yeah. Draft is there. Anything else? So like, we leased Oshkosh, but only for the summer? Oshkosh Zoo. Okay. I'm just worried if this was somebody doing this, where else should we be I know. watching? Out at the zoo. Out at the zoo. Just the zoo, yep. no other location? Yep. No. Well, right, but here in... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> And I know last night the sheriff's department, I think three different officers went by there and my son, he went he went by there a couple of times and um, and watched, but yeah. You guys um, don't have any cameras on site no, here, correct? No, we don't, okay. and we should have, we didn't. Have you had, I understand that you guys have gotten threats and different things yes. along yes. the line. Yes. Have you guys had anybody recently as far as trespassing issues Not or anything? Not that we know of. Okay. Do you mind if I just take a walk? over the pasture there just to make sure okay. I don't see anything odd or peculiar nope. that yeah. somebody would have walked in nope. or Fire department would likely have one. We're we're the first ones on scene as far as law enforcement probably doing a report because okay. the initial officers were here. I could check maybe they did a report, but okay. we'll get you a business. Are you ready to leave? Uh, in a little bit. I got okay. To to we'll get you a card before you take off.
Not sure what it is yet, but I got a set of footprints coming from the road, it looks like, okay. down the road through this muddy field. So I'm going to have to take some decent photos of these. Okay. Um, all I've got is this point and shoot. What, where are you guys at up there? I mean, this is obviously odd. 
Well, I mean, maybe a firefighter showed up and came running across the field, but this is, I'll talk to you when you get over here. impression there was a set of shoe Anywhere impressions hands. not yet I haven't followed it that way I didn't want to muck it up but there was a set of shoe impressions I took pictures of that came through there but they stopped by this debris pile and turned around and went back okay they looked you know like a heavy boot like a firefighter but I snapped photos of them before we interrupted it but I haven't followed these to get a shoe or impression and where these go right there right there Right there. Right, yeah. A neighbor comes to help out somebody, but clearly can. Right here is the last shoe print that I have, so I'm guessing they stepped over in this grass here. Right here is a shoe impression. Hard to tell, they slid. They stepped right here and slid. Watch the fence too, Sheldon, see if you see any mud or anything. No, I went around the pile on the outside and was packed down like somebody was probably along the maybe they cut their gears. Okay. Is there any decent foot impressions there? Yeah, just keep an eye on that fence to see if you see any mud or... Yeah. 
Yeah. There's a set of footprints over here following this fence too, but not enough to make out. Yeah.
That true impressions right here, Sheldon. You got quite a few over here too. I photographed most of those. See some that were smaller, like like a woman's shoe? Yeah. If you follow those down, they should go down and turn around at the pile and go back, but I did photograph them. But wasn't her statement that she hasn't come in here? It's hard to tell, but there's shoe prints over there that come this way. It's hard to tell, but like just opening it a little bit isn't, I mean, you definitely can't open it all the way, but it's obviously enough for me to squeeze through. Right here is a shoe impression. Yeah. Batteries are dead in the camera. I'm curious about those that go out in that field though. Both. So it looked. So I'm trying right here's the last footprint I got. It's a footprint right here. It's hard to know whether it was a fire department, you know, somebody shows up and they can't get in the driveway and they run across the field. But As long as that bull's over there, I'm going to come up and look at this animal here. In here it's so hard you can't tell what's, what's what as far as footprints. And, 